Hi guys, today's video is going to be about voice recognition within Paladins. Seems nobody likes using uh, their mics in Paladins and nobody really uses the voice guided system as well. Paladins came up with uh, over 80 commands so you can uh, type things out like need healing and if enemies are on the left, right, up the middle, protect the preload, all kinds of stuff like that, but nobody really uses this as well. So I'm kind of hoping maybe with the voice recognition, maybe some people will start using at least the basic commands, like the need healing or enemies behind is the important one. And um, during my examples, I'll show a couple of examples in the videos with me using voice recognition. Just keep in mind that you won't actually hear your voice because you'll have uh, listening disabled for your mic. And um, yeah, so I'll show you one example where it actually comes in handy using voice recognition. So here's something that happens to me actually quite often more than I like to admit is um, typing VBE. So yeah, it works usually, but sometimes only E sticks and you end up ulting by yourself. And yes, they're laughing at you. Enemies behind us. Enemies behind us. Cancel that. Cancel that. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks! Enemies on the right. Enemies on the right place! I'll defend. I'll defend! Be careful, middle. Be careful, middle! Retreat! Retreat! Alright, I can go on and on with the examples, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the point of it now. So I could have created my own program, but uh, why bother when there's one totally free and it's pretty actually powerful. It does everything I need it to do. So if you want this program, go to voicemacro.net and then uh, click on the download. So you have two options. You can download the installer or you can download the uh, standalone. I'm just going to download the uh, standalone version. So click on that and save it somewhere. So after you have it saved, if you have the installer, just click on that and install it. And uh, if you install the portable, just right click on it and then choose extract. So use sevens up here. So in the description, I'll include my macros. And I'll also include the exe just in case for some reason that page goes down one day. So after it's extracted, go into this folder here and then uh, double click on voice macro. Here you can say no. Click on the edit. So if you want to use my macros, click on the edit. Click on import. And you can back up here and then find my Paladin's voice commands. And then click save. So under the target, don't click on this down arrow or it'll disappear if you're going to try using mine. That's if your Paladin's name is the same. If not, you can click on this and just choose any active window. Or alternatively, open up Paladin's and then uh, minimize Paladin's or alt tab out of it. Then in this program here, you'll have a list of all the open programs and then you can click on Paladins if you want. So here are the commands you can do and you can edit all these. It's good to make multiple um, edits. So for, where's an example here? So it's for say for example for all defend, it might be better to say I will defend so you can add that as well. So if you're playing Paladins and for some reason your voice isn't working with what you're saying, just uh, make new ones, like enemies on the left. Sometimes in the game I, I would say enemies on the left flank, so it just wouldn't work. So I added both of them, enemies on the left and enemies on the left flank. This way it always catches it. So you can add as many as you want. So I'll just show quickly how to add a new one if you want to add more of them. So click on add new. And your voice command could be like, heal me please. So every time you say heal me please in Paladins, it'll uh, say it need healing. So on the description, just put whatever you want. I usually put the same for both. 
then click on other and you'll want to insert text and a command in paladins for need healing is vbe or i mean vhs so just type vhs so here you need to click on both of these it's really important you do so click on simulate keyboard and you'll use alternative method so the milliseconds here this you'll want as low as possible so right now most of mine here are set to 10 but i've changed a couple now to five seconds this way you can still be moving around say a command and you won't even see the um, vgs window pop up in paladins it's so quick it just happens right away and um, yeah so you can play around with the durations if you want so click ok and ok again and then you have to save it and the same with if you want to edit any of them you can just find whichever you want whichever one you want to edit just double click on it and you can double click on this guy and then you can edit things here okay i think that's about it i don't want to make this video too long and um, yeah so if you guys have any problems with this just hit me up in the comments hopefully this helps some of the shy people that don't like using mics or whatever for whatever reason and uh, yeah like and subscribe please and that's all